um, especially in our generation, you know, something very, very essential to know about the gospel of Jesus Christ is that when Jesus left or before he left, he let the disciples know, listen, it's best that I go. It's, your, it's to your advantage that I go so that the promised Holy Spirit can come, the helper can come, the comforter can come, remind you of all things, testify about me. And that's the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is our constant companion. The Holy Spirit is God's personal presence with us. And in and, and this time right here, when I'm talking, I just, I want, I want us to look at it like I'm opening up the window for the Holy Spirit to move and speak to us. And so this, this time right now is going to feel very, very powerful in the sense that the Holy Spirit is going to reveal himself to us in a special way, like he always does. And that just simply means he raises our awareness to his presence in the room. Um, and it's so profound. Even the people that are going to watch this one day, are, they're going to be able to sense his presence because he makes himself real to those who acknowledge him, who grow in their awareness of him, their knowledge of him. And so I don't want to get too deep in that or get ahead of myself. But what I wanted to say was the Bible makes it very clear. The reason why people don't receive the Holy Spirit, two of the most important reasons out of the many, is because they're not looking for him. A lot of people aren't looking for the Holy Spirit. Some people don't even know to look for the Holy Spirit, but they can't receive him because they're not looking. And the second reason in that same passage of scripture, they don't receive him because they don't recognize him. They don't even recognize the Holy Spirit. Again, sometimes it's a lack of knowledge. And sometimes you ever had that moment where you look back and say, wait a minute, that was God that did that? God, that was you? You think about all the times God has kept you sovereignly, looked out for you. I mean, humbled you, took care of you, fed you, guided you. The Bible says the Holy Spirit is our comforter, our teacher, our advocate, our strengthener, our help. An advocate is someone who publicly fights and defends you, our standby. It's profound. God's personal presence, the precious Holy Spirit, with us at all time, promises to never leave or forsake us. And as I'm talking, all I'm doing is raising our awareness to who he is. And you can sense his presence even now, but I want to say this. There are people who do not recognize the Holy Spirit. They don't recognize it. They don't recognize the Holy Spirit. And then there are people that are not looking for him. And so if people don't look for him, The answer to sensing more of God's presence in your midst, the answer to sensing God's presence in all your affairs, in your personal life, your everyday life, your public and private life, is to not ignore him, but to acknowledge him. Good morning, Holy Spirit. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. We acknowledge you, Holy Spirit. I want you to say that with me now. Holy Spirit, we acknowledge you. We acknowledge you in this place. The Bible says the Hebrew word for God's personal presence is ruach. Another word for ruach is breath. Even now, I want you to take a deep breath. Holy Spirit, we acknowledge you. God's personal presence is the very air that we breathe. God is living in our lungs. He's closer to us than the air that we breathe, y'all. That's so profound to me. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for being there when no one else was. Thank you, Holy Spirit for empowering me when I'm weak. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for reassuring my heart of the word of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit, 
for giving me the grace and the strength to do whatever it is that pleases God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God's personal presence. Jesus said, it's best that I go so the Holy Spirit can come. And I'm going to end with this. There's an old, old picture that used to float around on social media a lot. Y'all probably remember it. Um, it was like a person basically saying, if I could just have Jesus sit right here on my bed, just sit here right here on my couch, sit here right here next to me and just speak to me and everything will be okay. And that's what's so beautiful about the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is with us at all times and we have access to God. Access comes when we make ourselves aware of God's presence. He's here. He's here. He's here. Mm. Holy Spirit, let me minister unto you. I'm sorry for the times that I've grieved you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I'm sorry for the times that I didn't obey you. When you spoke and when you said move and I didn't, when you said speak and I didn't. Thank you for your constant inspiration and strength. Thank you for the peace that you constantly give me with your still, small voice. And thank you, Holy Spirit, for making me your temple. And let your presence overwhelm me and make me more aware of your Holy Spirit. Make us all more aware of your precious presence. In Jesus' matchless name. Amen.